so in basic elasticity there are several topic we need to know stresses strains stress strain relationship volumetric strain strain energy thermal stresses so if you see in basic elasticity it is like this we know in simple what is the relation between force and displacement for a simple spring you guys know right force is proportional to what displacement f is what k delta so this is what very simple structural member but when you have a complicated structural member and the loading is also a complicated loading then you cannot use this direct relation so we have a indirect approach and in basic elasticity it is like this the displacements are connected with strain through stress strain relations and then stresses are connected with uh, constitutive relations and your stresses and force are connected with equilibrium equations so briefly you know we will discuss all these and we will discuss what kind of questions they may ask from stress so what is the stress guys you guys all know what is the stress the stress is what it is the internal resistance you know against applied loading right due to material strength so internal it is what internal resistance offered by the structures again applied loading and we know the unit of stress it is what force per unit area so the unit of stress and pressure is same but here in your exam there can be a questions stress is a what kind of quantity stress is a what kind of quantity guys is it scalar vector or anything else anyone so this can be a hl question okay simply you should know stress is a tensorial quantity why it is a tensorial quantity because at any point at any point in a structure in loaded structure under several load if you want to find stress at any point you need to define a reference plan so that means when you uh, change your plan your stress at that particular point will change okay so that means stress has magnitude direction and it require a reference plan so it's a tensorial quantity of second order so this is the important point here to know about stress now usually there are two kind of stresses we have one is normal stress and one is shear stress right normal stress and then we have shear stress so what is shear stress at any plane there will be in plane stress right or a, a, a stress which is due to shearing load so that will be shear stress but any stress normal to this plane or perpendicular to this plane will be what normal stress okay it will be normal stress now normal stresses can be of two nature compressive or tensile okay it can be compressive or it can be tensile now in basic elasticity uh, either we can represent your stresses uh, either by sigma or tau but here what is important i and j so if i equal to j if i equal to j then it is a normal stress and if i is not equal to j then it is shear stress now on a plane how should be my sign convention of stresses now you can see here this is one plane okay on this plane this is what my normal stress and suppose this is what my positive axis so my corresponding shear stresses will be also on positive axis okay is it clear if your normal stress which is of tensile nature is in particular axis direction here it is positive axis direction so my corresponding shear should be also on positive axis direction now if you take this plane if you take perpendicular to this it is negative x axis so this is your suppose sigma x and it is going in negative x direction but it is 
still tensile stress. Why it is tensile stress, guys, here? Why it is tensile stress here? Because this stress is going away from section. Any stress going away from section is what? Tensile stress or if any stress coming towards the section is what? Compressive stress. Okay. So, since this is in negative axis direction, so my corresponding shear stresses will be also in negative axis direction. So, this is about sign convention part. Now, here why I am discussing this. So, you can see these are your tensile stresses and if you can see this kind of nature, this is your compressive stress. <coughs> is it clear guys? Now, you here can see this is going in positive axis direction. In positive axis direction, in positive axis direction, but still it is what? It is what? Compressive or tensile guys? It's a compressive, okay? It's a compressive. Now, now guys, I can show three dimensional stress system. So, this you can see it is a three dimensional stress system and we have considered a cube. So, this cube has six faces. So, on each face you can see your normal stresses and corresponding shear stresses. Okay. So, you can see for a three dimensional stress system. Sorry guys, uh, this call is coming. Yeah. So, you can see here for this three dimensional stress system, if you write stresses in matrix form, you can see there are nine stresses. Is it clear? Is it clear? Total will be nine. Now, how this nine has come, you can see from here, each phase has three. Out of that, you can see sigma xx, here also sigma xx. So, total you can see there will be nine stresses now here <coughs> out of nine how many independent stresses guys anyone this can be a chill question Six. for a three dimensional stresses yeah exactly exactly deep nail so this can be a chill question number of independent stresses for a three dimensional stress system so what is the answer 6 not 9. Is it clear? Okay. So, fine. So, that is what about 3 dimensional stress system. Now, if you see the two-dimensional stress system, this is our 2D stress system and I can write it in matrix form, right? Is it clear? You can see here sigma xx, sigma xx, sigma xy or sigma yx and sigma yy. Now, guys, tell me how we have got from 9 to 6, anyone? Those 9 has become 6. Anyone? The complementary. Yeah, your shear stresses will be of complementary nature. Okay, so from the complementary nature of shear stresses, your yeah, this sigma xy will be equal to what? Sigma yx. So, sigma xz will be sigma zx and sigma yz will be sigma zy okay because 
this is one question which is asked many times okay uh, in for a three dimensional stress system what is the number of independent stresses now equilibrium equations so we are not going to derive anything but you can see what is your equilibrium equation for a two dimensional system it is dou sigma x by dou x plus dou sigma y x by dou y plus capital x equal to 0 so what is the capital x here guys anyone body force yeah it is body force per unit volume those who are new uh, are understanding azu izumalai are you understanding yeah yes sir and anyone else who is new to my class understanding and also uh, i miss to ask you guys what is your expectation how you guys want to learn in limited time anyone want to say something on that what is your expectations like how we should conduct our session i will be very happy if i get uh, any constructive suggestion So you guys can tell me in chat box if I because here the our whole idea will to revise each and everything okay so you guys will have a comfort okay to uh, uh, study more uh, about this exam yeah guys any 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 suggestion or anything you guys have a specific thing in your mind to learn about this exam within one month in a better way uh cheros yeah that is what i am going to do important pointer yes, that's why you know i have yeah definitely what you are saying Yes, sir. So I am. I have. I have. I have. So, sir, uh, parallel to learning the uh, things, questions. if we can discuss the questions parallelly. Yeah, that's what that, I. That is the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will. I yeah, will yeah. You are doing that. That's that's. Right. Yeah, because that's I also that's told my team member, uh, my all other team member also in meeting, ki. we have to discuss concepts and tell what all kind of questions they, they can ask in theoretical way clear na so that's how you guys will understand okay the importance of every concept that's good point now jeros of course we will be discussing all important pointers okay will not go in something which is not much important okay so that point i'll take care no industrial questions is different okay we will discuss the interview part later here first you need to perform and get through written exam written is all about academia nitya okay we can have separate classes for interview okay that we'll see first let's do well in uh, written okay because without written you cannot go for interview clearing written uh, sir yeah sir yeah yes nitya i can, I can sir, hear sir uh, and they have asked questions like uh, r to fuel ratio for a uh, turbo jet engine those questions are like uh, it's related to industrial uh, questions sir no no so, no that will be taken care when that propulsion part comes okay of course oh, okay sir uh, there will be some questions for uh, you know gas turbine we are going to teach oh. the gas turbine part okay well even in gate exam also they ask few questions okay for turbo okay, uh, specific or turbo jet okay so uh, uh, we'll be happy you guys can always write uh, in feedback form okay so what is okay. and what i am saying there can and some interview specific questions okay which he, here 
we are not going to discuss much okay anyway some of the questions will be from uh, whatever we are going to discuss in technical part itself so we will see not an issue okay but uh, be free to share that feedback okay so i'll share my propulsion team to work on that clear okay anyone else okay if not let's move ahead so here you can see this is what my equilibrium equation in x direction and this is my uh, this is my another equilibrium in y direction and here you can see this is your stress element where your stress is changing from uh, our uh, length of dx and this is from taylor series expansion and uh, now after taking equilibrium we get these equations now these equation in a simple way can be written like this sigma xx comma x plus sigma xy comma y plus capital x is equal to 0 same way i can write in y direction and we can extend this to three dimensional stress system so you can say these are the equation for three dimensional stress system so this is from force equilibrium and this is from moment equilibrium so here you can say this is what complementary nature of shear stress so what we say shear stress on two perpendicular plane will be of same magnitude and either they will come towards each other or will go away from each other right so this is what complementary nature of shear so is it clear guys how you can remember this uh, 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 equilibrium equation this is like sigma xx comma uh, comma x plus sigma xy comma y and uh, then this is sigma xz comma z plus capital x equal to zero now you can see here ZZ will get cancelled, YY cancelled, XX cancelled. So throughout you can see X term. Same way I can write for Y direction and same for Z direction. So any doubt or any concern from equilibrium equation, anyone? So you guys able to refresh those who are uh, who have appeared recently in gate exam equilibrium equation, right? quickly you guys could uh, refresh right am i correct or not recently most of you have written gate exam so this is how we have to you know refresh our concepts this one month okay so better the revision better will be accuracy you have to remember okay this in mind so keep revising available study material now you guys can solve this question this is one of the very simple questions from gate exam and this kind of straightforward questions they may ask in gate exam okay because you guys ready even for you know lengthy hand calculation questions also not lengthy you can see this kind of questions guys tell me quickly answer i will solve and I'll tell you how much time it takes. Read the question. The component of stress in a body under plan stress condition in absence of body forces is given by sigma xx ax square sigma yy 12x x square minus 6y square and sigma xy equal to 12xy. So, absence of body forces means capital X equal to 0, capital Y equal to 0. What is unknown? A is unknown. Okay. So, what we know in X direction, what is my equilibrium equation? It is sigma XX comma X plus sigma XY comma Y is equal to 0. Right. So, can you guys do derivation? Uh, uh differentiate sigma xx with respect to x sigma xy with respect to y what we'll get get to a x plus how much we'll get 
12 x is equal to 0. So what is the answer? A is how much? Clear. So how much time it took? It is less than 1 minute, right? Dipnil, you agree with this? Yes, this sir, question? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you guys can expect such question, okay? May not be exact this question, but similar kind of questions where directly use formula, find the answer. But you need to know those formula. So, clear? So let's move to next concept. So once you know the equilibrium equation, next important concept in basic elasticity what? stresses on inclined plane. So what is that? To know that, you know, we consider a two-dimensional stress system. So you can see sigma xx, sigma yy and tau xy. Now here, suppose I want to know any stress on this inclined plane, how I can find. So for that, we use this transformation matrix, okay, this transformation matrix. So how this transformation matrix is working guys, I will explain you. If you cut this by this plane, so what you will have, suppose this is my S direction, this is what my T direction, clear? Is it clear guys? Because this is my X coordinate this is y coordinate so i am considering this is s coordinate this is t coordinate so in that transformation matrix you can see sigma s so what is this sigma s this is what normal stress on this plane now this plane you can see if this angle is theta this will be theta this will be theta right so this normal s is making theta angle with x axis so if you want to find your normal stress along S direction is given by C square S square 2 C S sigma XX sigma YY sigma XY. What is C and S here? C is cos theta, S is sin theta. Now if you write in form of equation, what it will be? Sigma S will be C square sigma X plus S square sigma Y plus 2 C S sigma X Y. Is it clear guys? Now anyone can tell me what is the sigma T? Can anyone tell? No, it is not shear stress, Jeros. That's where you need to work. Sigma T is also normal stress. Okay. But most of you may have read, read some Indian book. Okay. So we will not have clear idea. But I will make sure you should have clear idea. So what is Sigma T actually? Sigma T is also a normal stress. But on a perpendicular plane to this. Okay. There can be a perpendicular plane to this right this plane is there right there can be a perpendicular plane to this right so on that plane there will be what sigma t but on this plane what is this sigma s clear now on this there will be what tau st but here also that will be tau st only so what actually meaning of this is it clear? Is this clear what is sigma s and what is sigma t? Everyone, is it clear? Now guys, it is very simple. How? It is simple. What I am going to do, see, the initially my stress element is like this. Okay. Now what I am doing? I will rotate it, I will rotate it by some angle theta. Clear? 
is this clear guys when you rotate this is my new coordinate s and t and this angle is what theta so you guys can see here here it is what sigma s what is here sigma t is it making sense what is sigma s and sigma t guys say yes or no and you guys free to speak okay our classes are live interactive okay it's not recorded version okay so here yes sir it's clear yeah clear so here i didn't go in derivation but what is the important part to understand what actually sigma s what actually sigma t and what it is tau st is sigma st or tau st now you can see here i have what one shear stress and there is another shear stress and it is what sigma st clear is this clear okay now you can further simplify and you can find your sigma s in this form okay same way you can write sigma t also in simplified form so you guys can remember this formula there can be a formula based question in your hl exam now here this is sigma st and resultant stress on a plane is given by this and uh, angle of obliquity is what tan inverse of sigma s by sigma st by sigma s now you guys understood this stress transformation now this may not be much useful because the questions may not be that tricky okay in your exam so i i have just yeah let me explain this also what it means these two matrices i have written see these two matrices you can see in one matrix my unknown are what sigma s sigma t sigma st in another matrix my unknown is what sigma xx sigma yy sigma xy what it mean if your given stresses are in this plane this is what sigma s this is sigma t this is what sigma t clear so if my given stresses are in incline and i want to find what my stresses in x and y direction then my transformation matrix will be this my sigma xx sigma yy and sigma xy will be given by c square s square minus 2 2cs s square c square 2cs and this now you can see what is the difference between this matrix and this matrix anyone it is the inverse of that matrix right is it clear you can see only here theta is negative you just substitute in this matrix theta negative will get this matrix okay yes or no guys yes yes sir yeah so this is what the significance okay of learning these two different matrices for stress transformation what one when your unknown is in x uh, uh, unknown in inclined direction and known in x and y direction in another when you are known in inclined direction and unknown in x and y direction now next important concept is what principal stresses so most of you are aware right sir, uh, yeah sir i have one doubt so yeah, uh, yeah. please define this uh, angle of obliquity sir uh, uh, see yeah sure see angle of obliquity is again not part of gate syllabus but sometime in ies exam they ask so right if you take any plan usually what we find force resultant okay what we find force resultant but if you find the stress resultant 
what is your stress resultant will be given by square root of sigma s square plus sigma st square right so the angle of oblique ET is what the this tan inverse in the direction in which you have resultant stress right is what your angle of obliquity tan inverse sigma st by sigma s is it clear uh, yes sir okay now oh, you know stress transformation you guys the next is what principal stresses it is very important there can be some question from principal stress because it's an important concept either in gate exam or any competitive exam so you know what is the principal stress guys as i told stress is a tensorial quantity so what it mean if you change your plane at a point your stress will vary so there will be one plane where your stresses will be principal stresses and that plan is known as what principal plan so on principal plan your shear stresses will be zero and your normal stresses your sigma will be max or mean is it clear this point is clear what is principal stress right so principal stresses are those stresses where your shear stress is zero on that plane okay or your normal stress is max or mean now guys the formula for principal stresses in terms of a stress system is given by what is given by this right sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus minus 1 by 2 square root of sigma x minus sigma y whole square plus 4 tau x plus 1. Now guys, if you know this formula, most of you will be knowing this formula, right? What is my principal plan? It will be given by 1 by 2 tan inverse 2 tau x y upon sigma x minus sigma y. So there are two principal plans. So one is theta 1, then another will be theta 2. So theta 2 is what? Theta 1 plus 90 degree. Now, this is one way to find your principal. Another way is what? We have written two-dimensional stress system, right? All of you agree, right? This is the 2D stress system. This is sigma y, this is sigma x, and this is tau xy or sigma xy. Now, in this case, you guys can say if you find the eisen value, so what will be those eisen value? My eisen will be value will be what my principal stresses. You guys know how to find eisen values? If you take sigma i z minus lambda i determinant equal to 0 you will find eisen values so what is here i what is here i guys identity matrix clear so this is the alternate for way to you know find principal stresses is it clear to everyone okay it is very handy in gate exam this method is very handy okay in some of the question I'll tell you later if we have additional time what kind of those questions. Now if you find the Eisen vector, those Eisen vector will be nothing but your principal lens. Okay. So once you know the principal stresses, next is what maximum shear stress. So how we find the maximum shear stress if we find d tau by d theta equal to 0, we will get the condition for theta <coughs> which will give me max shear stress plan. So, you can see here my theta will come minus 1 by 2 10 inverse sigma xx minus sigma yy upon 2 tau xy. Now, how many of you have written recent gate exam? 
there was a questions to find what maximum shear stress flare guys agree how many of you have done that problem correct correctly who all have done just say yes i will tell that kind of questions they must and they may ask in hl also it was very easy question who all has done correctly who all has done wrong i'll tell you why you did nitesh sign part wrong right that's how you have missed top 100 rank it was very easy questions in igc we have discussed a lot on sign part agree nitesh so you missed a race by that question i am saying i missed it in 2010 due to one question okay of uh, top rank yeah agree anyone else who has written gate exam has done that questions correctly or wrongly quickly tell me okay guys let's see that questions before that one more concept is there so this is what my formula for tau max and this formula tau max is what r also what is the r it is the radius of more circle anyway we will discuss that concept now guys this is what tau but what is the corresponding normal stress on the plane of tau max is it zero is it zero my sigma on plan of max shear what it is is it zero yes or say no everyone no it may be zero but not always zero okay it may be zero but not always zero so how it is given by it is given by this formula sigma xx plus sigma yy by two how i got if I substitute my uh, my this theta in my normal stress formula, I'll get this. Okay, so this is what your sigma on plan of maximum shear stress. This is what also. What is the center of Mohr circle, guys? Anyone? Center of Mohr circle. Pavan, you are understanding what I am discussing. Yes, sir. I'm understanding. Because it would have been long for you, right? All yes, these sir. things. Yes, two years. Yes, yes. So that is what our whole idea to get familiar with everything which we have learned long back, right? Okay. So this is what center of more circle. So we know this is what normal stress on a plane of max here. Okay. Clear. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Now, the next thing what? If you multiply that theta 1, 10 theta 1 into 10 theta or it will be 10 to theta 1 and 10 to theta 3, you will be get being what? Minus 1. So, that means what? Your 2 theta 1 and 2 theta 3 is having 90 degree angle. So, between theta 1 and theta 1, theta 1 and theta 3, uh, actually 10 to theta 1 and 10 to theta 3 are my curves. Actually, if they are having a uh, slope, um, the multiplication of slope is minus 1, that means both are orthogonal. So, if that is orthogonal that means theta 1 and theta 3 will have an angle of what 45 degree so we always know the angle between your max shear stress plane and principal plane is what 45 degree is it clear the angle between max shear plane and <laughs> principal plane is what 45 degree is this point clear or not Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you.
okay let's move to problem yeah this is the problem in your gate exam now guys can try this is a problem from gate 2021 many i i'm damn sure many people have done it wrong many people not just few many people it's very simple problem what is asked for the state of stress as shown in figure what is the orientation of orientation of the plane with maximum shear stress with respect to x axis so we know what is theta 3 guys it is minus 1 by 2 tan inverse sigma x minus sigma y by 2 tau x y everyone agree can you use this and find the answer everyone please do it and let me know Yeah, you got minus minus why not plus because you guys know answer so Priya did you do it correctly in gate exam that's good others what is the answer plus 22.5 or minus 22.5 minus everyone is minus no plus anyone Nitesh plus is the answer right or minus so so you are feeling right minus is the answer you should have done correctly but oh, don't worry it happens it happens others others guys how much time it take tell me will it take more than one minute if you know the concept will it take more than one minute <laughs> see everything is known sigma x is known sigma y is known tau x y is known formula is known so how much time it should take and they have given good quantity where you know calculation will be very quick okay so what is the important for this formula this formula is derived for this stress system guys okay where your stresses are given like this now in given problem what we see my all stresses are in opposite direction to this stress system. Agree? So what is here sigma x guys? It is minus 80. What is sigma y? It is minus 20. What is the tau xy? It is minus 30. So many people have not compared this given system with the reference system so they have taken tau xy as positive one guy argued once like i shared the solution in group when response it was out it he shown me some formula sir this is formula some from notes or some book i told please guys do not refer such material is it clear is it clear now will we get answer 22.5 or minus 22.5 guys tell me so substitute minus 22.5 exactly so substitute everything in uh, formula theta 3 is what minus 1 by 2 10 inverse now substitute everything so 
minus 80 minus minus will become plus 20 upon 2 into minus 30. So you can see here this minus 80 plus 20 will be minus 60 and 2 into minus 30 will be minus 60. So you can see this and this will cancel and you will get 1. So what you will get? Theta 3 as minus 1 by 2 tan inverse 1. So what it is? Minus 45 by 2. So it, what is the answer? What is the answer for this guys? Minus 22.5. Is it clear? How this question was tricky and how this question is easy. Fast. Everyone, is it clear? Okay. So, once you know this stress transformation, principal stresses, max shear stress, the principal plan, and uh, maximum shear plan, then what next we can go? We can discuss simple cases like uniaxial loading or uniaxial stress system. So you can see in this stress system only you have stress in x direction. So these will be my corresponding, you know, stresses on inclined plane. These will be my principal stresses. So we know for uniaxial loading, what is your principal stress? It is sigma xx comma zero, right? You can see sigma comma zero. What is your principal plane? Zero and ninety. So what is your max here? It will be sigma xx by 2. What will be plan? Minus 45 and 45. Right? When you have sigma xx. Same way I can have only sigma yy. So you can see here. This is what my uh, stress is on inclined plan. This is what my shear stress on inclined plan. Now here you guys can see. Though I have only one stress. And here there is no shear, but if you change your angle, there can be a shear stress. Is it clear, guys? If you see in x, y direction, there is no shear, right? But if you change the angle, you can see a shear stress. Is it clear? So this is one important point here to understand. Right? Yes or no, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We understand. Okay. All right. So, here again, what will be tau max? We can find the plan of tau max and all. Now, that was for uniaxial loading. Suppose my loading is biaxial. So, you can see you do not have shear, but you have normal stresses in x and y direction. So, for this also, we can find these are my normal stresses on inclined plane we can use that stress transformation matrix and we can arrive with this formula is it clear to everyone guys don't worry if someone asks how i got this came from your transformation matrix only is it clear now my previous formula also came from my previous equations only so you guys can have a, a look on that is it clear is this point clear So, these classes are making any sense or it's getting interest? You guys are getting interest? Don't get uh, feel bored, okay? Because it's kind of a crash course we never did, okay? In IGC, we never did any crash course, okay? But here, this HL is giving us opportunity you know, to teach in a kind of crash course fashion. Okay, so I am liking bit, but I don't know. Earlier we never did it. Okay, so that's good thing. One more new thing we are uh, learning and understanding. Okay, so once we know the biaxial stress system, again, what will be my principal plan? It will be 0 and 90 degree. Why? Because there is no shear here. So this plan itself, this 
x y plan itself is what my max uh, principal uh, sorry my principal plan so 0 and 90 degree you can see and my principal stresses are what sigma x x and sigma y y then i can find my tau max which will be sigma x x minus sigma y y by 2 and then my corresponding shear stress plan max shear stress plan so this is about bi axial stress system now what is a pure stress pure stress means what you don't have any normal stress clear so this is what your pure shear plan only you have shear stresses what is the example of pure shear guys anyone anyone can give the example of pure shear loading anyone can give the example of pure shear loading anyone Tor torsion yeah torsion of shaft yes so torsion of shaft is what pure shear loading you can see in the case of torsion of shaft you have only shear stress okay so you can see but if i change my plan tell me guys will i have here normal stress or not anyone anyone will i have any normal yes stress? <laughs> yes we can have right from where stress transformation so you can see from stress transformation matrix at any inclined plan you may have you may have normal stresses and uh, it can be given by sigma s and sigma t okay it is sigma t so it is 2 cs tau xy and minus 2 cs tau xy and this is what your shear stress on a inclined plane right now what is the principal stresses in case of pure shear it will be plus minus tau xy what will be the plane of pure shear this can be again a question this can be a question in your HL exam for pure shear case or for pure shear loading what is your principal stresses guys what will be it is very quick right plus minus tau x y clear what is the principal plan for pure shear 45 degree and 130 now what is the max shear stress for pure shear case it is tau x y and plane will be 0 and 90 degree now tell me guys for case of pure shear for case of pure shear you can see here what is your normal stress what is your normal stress Your normal stresses are zero, right? On this pure shear plan, right? And here in this case of pure shear, we also see these are my plan of max shear. So in the case of pure shear, for max shear stresses, the corresponding normal stresses are zero, right? Because we know on plan of max shear, what is your corresponding normal stress it is sigma xx plus sigma yy by 2 but here sigma x is 0 sigma y is 0 so you can see here uh, there will be no normal stress now we will tell you guys how it has come you guys can use formula and you can verify my plan of max here will be 0 and 90 degree is it clear from where this formula theta 3 is what minus 1 by 2 tan inverse sigma xx minus sigma yy by 2 tau xy for pure shear case this is 0 right so tan inverse 0 is what 0 clear is it clear 
or not? Yes, sir, it's clear. Okay. So this is how it is important. So in your HL exam, there can be questions like for uniaxial loading, for biaxial loading, or for pure shear loading. Okay. So if you know these cases, you can answer. Now you guys can solve these questions. Very straight formula, straight form, uh, forward formula based question. You can see in this question, in pan stress condition, your stresses are given. You can find what is the maximum shear stress. Quickly guys. So what is my max shear stress formula? It is 1 by 2 sigma x minus sigma y square plus 4 tau xy square. Am I correct? This is what my formula. So guys find the answer. Sir, getting 50 ampere. Exactly. Answer is also given. So, is it taking less than one minute? Or is it taking more yes, sir, time? It takes, it takes less time. Yeah. So, this kind of questions, you guys practice more. Okay. Is it clear to everyone? Anyone has any doubt in this? Solving this question, guys. So guys, put your best efforts, okay? Because this is another opportunity who couldn't do well in gate exam, okay? Guys, don't worry, be positive. If you have prepared one year well for gate exam, for whatever reason you couldn't do well in gate exam, this is kind of big opportunity. And it's like uh, this advertise has come after many years, okay, for aeronautical engineers, guys. So you guys are so lucky to when you are passing your engineering and you are seeing a government job opportunity. Is it clear? Is this point clear? Guys, do well, okay? And efforts always makes anyone successful. So at IGC, we are not very intelligent people. We believe in hard work, okay? We are not that genius guys, okay? And I am also a kind of like all other team member, okay? Nothing like here, founder, director, nothing. We all are team, okay? IGC work as a team. So that's our strength and we always believe in putting efforts, okay? So you guys also try to put best effort. Clear? So let's move to next question. Yeah. The state of stress at a point is given by this. Sigma x, sigma y, tau x, y. The maximum tensile stress at the point is. So guys, it is also, what is the maximum tensile stress at a point we know? It is what? Principal stress, right? And what is the principal stress formula? All of you must so, uh, must remember. It is very simple formula. What is that? Sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus minus sigma x minus sigma y by. So guys, find out. So here you will see major principal stress is negative. Okay, you will see in this case major principal stress is negative. Why? Because the, the principal stress which is more by magnitude will come negative. Let's check it. Find out two principal stresses and let me know.
yeah guys what is the answer quick this may take bit of time because the given data will be in you know it uh, will not give the kind of answer we got here in the problem number one you have to do some kind of calculation don't use calculator okay guys do not use calculator you have to find the square root Okay, what is the answer guys? Anyone? Guys, what is the answer? Anyone? Sir, we are getting complex number. No, no, no. We will not get complex number. Anyone else? How you will uh, get complex number? It's a square. Sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square. So even if it is minus 6, minus 4, minus 10 by 2 whole square it is. So it is 5 square. Is it clear? So 5 square 9.4 or 8.3. Yeah, 8.43 is the answer. Okay, 8.43 should be the answer. So guys, in this case, it may take bit of time because the data given data may take time okay Yeah, 8.43 should be the correct answer. So let's move. Yeah, 8.43 mega Pascal. So guys, just substitute value in formula. Again, I'll write that formula. My principal stresses formula is what? Sigma 1 comma sigma 2 is what? Sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus minus sigma x minus sigma y by to whole square plus tau x. Who got the complex number? Hmm? Someone got the complex number, right? Yes, sir. I make mistake. Yeah, correct one. Yeah, please, please be careful. Okay, no issue. Yes. So minus six minus four by two whole square and how much tau x y is given? Is given as minus eight. So it will be minus 8 whole square. Okay, so we can solve this minus 6 plus 2 minus 2. So it is minus 1 plus minus. It is uh, 5 square 25 plus 64. Right? So if we solve this, 
with the plus sign we will get 8.43. So guys, only time it will take in finding the square root of this. Am I correct? Is it correct? Again, the, uh, the paper will be MCQ. So you, you will able to find the nearest uh, answer. So that's it from this part. Now, now next we'll move to more circle. So in more circle guys, what is important? Uh, it's not important how we draw more circle. But what is the important? What is the radius of more circle? We know it is what tau max. What is the center of more circle? It is sigma xx plus sigma y by by two comma zero. So how we can draw more circle? Suppose this is my my triangular stress element, and this is what my two dimensional stress element. For on this you can see sigma s and tau st are my unknown stresses. Sigma x, sigma y, and tau xy are known. So for that we can write, you know, for more circle, all normal stresses are drawn on x axis and all my shear stresses will be drawn on y axis. What is the sign convention we use for uh, more circle? My shearing stresses which try to rotate my triangular element in clockwise direction will be positive or which try to rotate in anti-clockwise direction will be negative. And my normal stresses, which is tensiles, are positive, which will, and if my normal stresses are compressive, then it will be negative. So you can see here. So here, this is O to A is what sigma x, and O to B is what sigma y. And you can see the corresponding to sigma x, my shear stress is tau xy, and it is trying to rotate anti clockwise. Okay, so you can see it came to down. Now here above you can see this is the sigma y but here this is rotating in clockwise direction so you can see it is on positive. Now to find the center of more circle what we have to do first we need to find the center of AB then if you match this you will find the center C clear. Now this CP2 or CP1 is what radius of more circle. So we can draw this more circle. Now what is OD? OD will be my max principal stress. O is what my mean principal stress. So this OD and OE and all. Is it clear? What is your tau max here? R and this is how your tau max is. And this is also your tau max. So is it clear about more circle? What is more circle? So more circle is graphical representation of the your stress system. Okay. Clear or not guys? Some guys may have doubt how we draw more circle and all. For that also, you guys either can refer any standard textbook or you can ask me further after going through my material or anything how we can draw. Anyone here in more circle any concern? What is Jeros your doubt? What should we do with the negative value? I didn't get what you are asking. Negative value is what they ask tensile stress. Particularly they ask max tensile stress. So tensile means it has to be positive. Clear? Jeros is it clear? Anyone? Any doubt here in more circle? You guys might have studied more circle or not, but briefly go through that. What is the important points I have highlighted here? Radius of more circle, center of more circle. What is my principal stresses? Now suppose at any point if you want to draw or find this, uh, guys, uh, is it? Possible to you get the practical application of more circle? See, usually this is what theoretical things. You first of all you need to understand. Tell me guys, stress can be measured or can be 
calculated anyone can you measure stress or you can calculate anyone calculate yes so practically you cannot measure stress it has to be calculated using strain that is one thing now in practically why we study stress because in your structure in structural analysis you need to find margin okay you need to find margin so to find margins you use different theory of failures i told we are going to discuss failure theory later so there are different failure theory in that well known is what von mises theory for metallic structure then maximum shear stress theory is there or max principal stress theory for brittle material you guys remember right in gate 2021 there was one question right one brittle material and one ductile material will fail in which plane guys can answer this is based on failure theory right who all has done this question correctly guys quickly tell who all has done this question correctly and who all has not done this question correctly am i audible right who all has done this question correctly guys tell you yes or no hmm i'm asking you guys to respond am i audible you have yes, not sir. You are, yes sir you are audible so it was very simple question guys based on your failure theory and your understanding of stresses see this is what uniaxial loading so what it will be it will be my principal stress right so what is my principal plan 0 and 90 degree so if for brittle material we know theory of failure is what max principal stress max principal stress right so we know from max principal stress theory this is what my plan of max principal so brittle will material will fail on this plane now we know for ductile material for ductile material my failure theory is preferred what either von mises or max shear stress theory now we know for uniaxial loading what is my plan of max shear guys we have discussed today right for uniaxial loading what is the plan of max shear it is 45 degree right so your max shear plan is this and your ductile material will fail along this plane is it clear yes anyone has any doubt any iota of doubt so was it tough question so this is what your kind of practical application zoom all is it clear Yes. Yeah. Okay. So mostly our stresses are important from our theory of failure point. Okay. Where we, you know, you have to find either principal stresses and all. Then we use in our calculation to find, you know, factor of safety or margin of safety or RF reserve factor. Okay. Because if you get chance in HL, there is structural. um uh, engineering division will be there you know there you have to do all these analysis okay now the important thing in more circle is what again different cases so if you have uniaxial case what will be your radius of more circle so my radius of more circle will be either sigma xx by 2 or sigma y by 2 
what will be my center of more circle either it is sigma xx comma 0 or sigma y by comma 0 now if you have biaxial stress system what will be your radius of more circle it will be sigma xx minus sigma y by by 2 okay but again in this case there will be two cases if your sigma x equal to sigma y in that case more circle will be a point you guys agree on this why more circle is a point because for biaxial stress system your tau max will be sigma x minus sigma y by by 2 clear now what is your corresponding sigma or center of Mohr circle it is sigma xx plus sigma y by by 2. Now when sigma x is equal to sigma y you will see tau max is 0 ok that means your radius is 0. When radius is 0 tell me what is the circle When radius is 0 what will be your circle it will be a point right. Point. So that is why you can see. So this can be a HL question. For which case your more circle is a point. For biaxial stress system with equal magnitude. Is it clear? This clear point or not guys? Yes sir. Okay. Then you can have another case where both are equal but opposite side. Sigma xx is equal to minus of sigma yy. Tell me what is going to happen. What will be your tau max guys? It will be sigma xx right. Because it will be added sigma xx or it will be sigma yy. What will be center of more circle in this case? it will be 0, origin. 0 exactly origin so this can be another hl question in which case or uh, for which case your center of more circle is 0 so one is this case y axial stress system and sigma xx equal to minus sigma y there will be one more case which is next pure shear case so in case of pure shear also we will see the center of more circle is what 0 comma 0 so this is point and uh, this is what origin now we can see here pure shear case so in pure shear case you can see here there is no normal stress so my tau max is what tau max is tau but what is center of more circle guys here anyone the center of more circle Anyone guys, what is center of more circle? It zero comma zero. zero comma zero. Exactly. So this is how the questions can be planned. Okay. So we will wind up today's session with this question. Guys, read this question and solve quickly. The stress state at a point in material under plane stress condition is equi by axial tension with a magnitude of 10 mega Pascal. If one unit on the sigma tau plane is 1 mega Pascal, the Mohr circle representation of state of stress is given by. Tell me guys, we have just done this. What is the answer? What is the answer guys? Yeah, B is the answer, correct? Because for biaxial stress system and sigma xx equal to sigma yy, your radius will be a point okay radius will be zero circle is a point and radius is a zero right and it is at what distance center of more circle 
it is sigma xx comma zero so what is the answer b is the answer a point on sigma x axis at a distance 10 unit from origin is it clear to everyone this is the answer so this kind of question we may expect or even easier questions than this okay so that's all from my uh, session today in stress module next we will finish our basic elasticity so we will discuss about strain stress strain relationship and then volumetric strain thermal stresses briefly and all so guys tell me how is the session how was the session any concern or any feedback or anything you want the to session add? is very good sir it's easy to understand sir yeah and about others so very nice sir we can understand very easily okay thanks thank you guys sir yeah. i have one doubt sir yeah sir uh, yes, sir. will it be any revision will be there sir after this section like uh, after once course is completed like uh, the uh, total see, <laughs> see at igc uh, completing course itself will be a challenge because we believe in in depth teaching you have taken long back you know gate classes right you might have not yes. seen the way we take so revision is like we will be providing you know recordings so if you want to revisit okay. any class please go through recording okay so our okay. idea you know to justify in this one month best efforts mm -hmm. the quality okay, okay? that's the okay, whole sir. idea okay thank that's you. okay sir. so thank you sir. know four years of engineering cannot uh, cannot be taught in you know 30 hours right you guys agree right if i take one hour session every day will be able to do justice of your time and money uh, uh, as a team we do not think so that's why we will not promise uh, revision classes but we will promise as many assignments as someone suggested like module exam or topic exam uh, whatever best we can do okay so my idea all of you do best like gate exam igc and rocks okay igcians should rock in hl exam because arrow is my mother branch okay we can do everything for this okay our expertise as an institute um, like aerospace is our usp okay we have other branches also we would have conducted uh, you know the similar classes for other branches but since always you know for other branches you know making uh, a batch is always challenge for us okay so clear i think jeros was there any boring point here in today's class sir when it was going too fast uh, the concepts were uh, half the concepts i could understand the half it was like uh, since it's going fast i can't uh, get more immersed in the topic but at the same time when the question is coming uh, yeah, i get able. interested it's, it's like yeah. that sir but uh, fast means actually I want yeah, every formula to be. We have yeah, to go fast yeah. only, and that yes, I understand. Yes. But uh, but uh, so wherever you do not understand, I'm just interrupting. Wherever you do not understand, not just my class, any class, please ask out. Okay, we okay, are sir. not going to derive formula here, but we will tell the significance of formula. Kind of questions can be asked. So that is the whole idea here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Okay. Thank yeah. You. Anyone else? So let's wind up session. Tomorrow we have another session, which will be for aerodynamics module, and it will be by Mr. Nitin sir. He's from ISC Bangalore, and hopefully he has already given me a plan, and uh, he will do his best for you guys. So tomorrow session will be on fluid properties and uh, his plan about his classes. Clear? Okay. Sir, time for tomorrow's class? 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Okay.
same time today same yeah, as today. yeah 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 only sunday class will be in morning 9 9 am tomorrow is saturday yeah but uh, i told na this particular week uh, guys we will not go to that uh, that plan of 5 o'clock okay because the officially this course will be launched by monday and i will invite you all to join that session because in that session uh, our Uh, sir uh, professor uh, r r alangon sir will be there and he is planning to invite someone from hl uh, okay from good uh, who has uh, who like someone from hl who was in good position in hl okay okay Clear, sir guys? yeah yes sir all right so thank you guys uh, and thanks for patience and uh, trust in igc thank you sir yeah thank, thank you, you sir good, thank you thank you good night guys all the best bye thank you sir bye